As Sri Lanka continues to battle one of the worst crises in its history, the situation remains tense. Here is an exclusive interview with the former finance, power and energy and foreign minister of Sri Lanka, Honorable Mr. Ravi Karnanayake on the current situation. So please throw some light on the current situation in Sri Lanka. Do you think that it's improving? Well, yes, because the situation was on the present political climate. The people's revolt on the Rajapaksas. And this has not basically improved with the uh, attack that was there on the innocent protesters two days ago. And this intensified a uh, spontaneous response to what they said was a provocative action to an innocent uh, protest that was outside. So I think this is not the time for to go into the history, but it's just to get the um, situation under control and get the economy back into place. Because if we basically have too much time on this and the world will look at us in a suspicious manner, that will be the deathbed to the economic activities of Sri Lanka. Now that the Prime Minister has resigned, is there a political discussion happening on the further course of action? Is there a consensus? Now it is a time which basically with the Prime Minister resigning, the constitutional process leads to that the Parliament must elect a Prime Minister which is basically selected by the President. Is there a possibility of the current Speaker becoming the interim Prime Minister? Well, there are many that are in the process. There is about five or six candidates that are there. And it has to have the majority approval of the parliament members as well. Do you think that India has played a reasonable role in supporting the neighbour? Or do you think there could be more to be done? Indians have really come forward in a manner that has not been shown before. And I, I think it is also good for India from that perspective. And I guess being a close neighbour being a regional leader in the area, they have certainly stood. And I think they have got to guide uh, both them from India and Sri Lanka into a safer pitch.